Good morning guys, this is Dr. Snai here with another video. Today we are on the side of the highway. <laughs> this is really early in the morning, this is around 6, 6.30 in the morning. Traffic is huge! But anyway, I got up here because I wanted to show you my car which is a 99 uh, Lancer diesel. It is an amazing daily driver and I thought I would make a video about it and share this with you guys. This is the car in question. I'm going to show you more about this car. The Lancer comes with a 2 litre diesel engine which produces 68 horsepower and 122 newton meters of torque. That is matched with a 5 speed manual gearbox which makes it a gem to drive. It also comes with creature comforts such as central locking, 4 door power windows and at 4.3 meters long and 1.6 meters wide, this is not a small car. So let's talk more about my car. Those of you who might be thinking why am I dressed differently, it's because I shot this same video yesterday and for some reason that video was not saved onto my camera. I don't know why, I was just blabbering along and nothing was recorded. So today I'm doing this all over again. So let's do this, yeah. I'm gonna tell you why this car is the best value for money car under a lakh rupees. First of all, it's a diesel, meaning that it is highly, highly affordable to run. And uh, second thing is, it has great gas mileage. I'm getting around uh, 15 to 16, give or take, uh, combined highway and city traffic conditions. I'm getting that. Drivability of this car is amazing. Uh, in city traffic, uh, it is a manual car, but you don't have to change the gears much often. The gearbox is such a gem. Uh, it is well matched with the engine of this car. Although this engine is not very powerful, I can easily slot it into fifth gear in 40 45 kilometers per hour, and it does not shudder, it does not make noises, it just keeps going. So, that is a beautifully matched gearbox, and the gear shifts uh, itself is silky smooth. Uh, it is not clanky, it is not jerky. For an 18 year old car, this is a big deal because when cars age, uh, normally the gearbox, uh, the shifts actually become really, really sketchy. Uh, this shifts like any new car you can buy. Steering is awesome, it is well weighted. It is not too heavy that you can't use it in city traffic. It is very light to maneuver around the city. And when you're on the highway, uh, cruising at triple digit speeds, the car is uh, gives you good confidence. It is not like uh, very light weighted, it is beautifully weighted. Um, going down the road at 100, 120, it is totally safe. You feel confident driving this car. And again, this is a full sized car. It has four doors, a big boot. It is a mid sized sedan. Overall, this car looks very beautiful. Uh, it's my opinion, it looks very beautiful. It is not the new generation of micro cars which are under 4 meters. Back when this was designed, uh, this was a big luxury car at the time. This is a 99 model Lancer. So back in 99, you did not have much options. Uh, there was the Ford Escort, the Opel Astra and the Lancer. And the Lancer was, I think, was the biggest car on option at that time. And this car was really feature packed because uh, I have electrically adjustable mirrors. Yes, in an 18 year old car, I have adjustable mirrors electronically adjustable mirrors. Even some cars today don't have that. So having this 18 years back was like amazing. It works. Guys, uh, even that that small feature, the mirrors, it still works. I had to get the car painted because the paint was faded. I had to change the tires. The suspension needed a little work. But all those things are nothing major. When you look at other cars which are around 18 to 20 years old, this has held up with the times very, very nicely. And uh, like I said, the interiors are not aged at all. This is a sign of quality. And uh, see, uh, many cars, these uh, dashboards and all, they get faded, they start pinching away. The plastics are still mint. Uh, this is a MP3 player which I had to install because this car came with a cassette player who listens to cassettes nowadays? This is the gear lever I was talking about. The shifts are just smooth. 
it slots into every gear. It is amazing. The instrument cluster, it's not faded. The steering is not faded. The engine is not noisy at all compared to some of the new cars which are out in the market. The diesel engines, I'm talking about the diesel engines. Some of the diesel engines are noisier than this. And you know diesel engines start becoming really noisy and really bad when um, they exceed a period of time. For, let's say for example 18 years and this engine is silent. It's not silent as in silent as in petrol cars but this is silent for a diesel car. It's very refined. The engine is so nice that even today there's no black smoke coming from the back. There are some cars which are aged 10 years and Whenever you drive it, there's a big cloud of smoke in the back. Nothing of that sort with this car. It's a very beautiful engine. Mitsubishi has done a great job with this car. It is affordable. It looks good. Uh, it is reliable. It is just a beautiful car. And if you're looking for a car with a budget, I recommend that you take a look at the Lancers. They are really good value for money. Just look out for cars which have not been in an accident and uh, you should be fine. These cars are going for 1 lakh, 1 lakh 10 um, depending on the mileage and uh, the condition of the car which is a big thing to look out for. Some cars are out there for really cheap money but those cars might be really really broken. I don't know if broken is a good term but some cars are out there which are really wrecked as in they have not been taken care of they have not been serviced properly and uh, any car if you don't look after it it will no matter how good of a car even if it's a rolls royce if you don't look after the car it's is going to be going to be really bad this car has been looked after really nicely uh, the guy i bought it off from was the original owner who bought it back in 99 and uh, it's been a great car for him now i'm enjoying this car and anyone looking out for a second hand budgeted daily driver I surely recommend a Lancer diesel. So those were my thoughts on the Lancer. What did you think? Please leave a comment on the comment section. Like this video, share and subscribe. We'll see you with the next video. Bye bye.